Hey everybody, the uh, Bong is here, ready for the um, Saturday, July 14th stream. I don't think we need this free stream thing anymore. So this is actually the very first stream in which I am now affiliated on Twitch. So everybody that's here, thank you so much for everybody who have been involved in some capacity. Very much appreciated. So I think we're going to play this for a little while. And then maybe for another hour, I'll do the demo of Sanctus Mortem. So let's get started. Oh my god, am I riding this thing from Super Mario Land? Oh, I can get hurt by my own explosions. That's not cool. But at least it has a good blast radius. I just gotta make sure that I step away from it, of course. And by step, I mean obviously steer. Oh, I can't even pick up the coins with this or stars. That's weird that you can't do that. Oh, but you can jump out! Hello, Grotus! Welcome to the stream! How you doing? Oh, what did we get there? I didn't see it. Commander Root is following! Thank you so much! I'm just gonna have to, like, move my game window over there. Hope you guys can still see it okay. Yeah, because it was blocking my uh, notifications. So, yeah, some new things happening now, like, whenever I get, like, a notification or even subscription or even my sense of bits. It'll show up on the window. So, like, it's not perfect, but I'll just be working on it as I go. Like, we'll see what's good and what isn't. And then we'll take it from there. Oh, what did we get there? I don't see it. Ah, Grotus is now following! Thank you so much, Grotus! Alright, so I don't know how much is left on this hack. Hopefully not too much. So I feel like we're very deep in the special world. Oops, I keep forgetting I can't do that. Auto-scrolling, it could get a bit trickier now that I can hurt myself. At least I can kill the urchins, too. Oh, nice, I can squeeze through there. Good to know. Alright, so how's everybody's Saturday going? Like, I'm just glad that it's the weekend again, and I can get to sleep in some more. Because at work, we no longer have any long weekends until the first Wednesday in August. Which is weird, because it's dependent on the weather. I don't think I need this anymore. I gotta fight this guy with, like, water around. Luckily, he's not too hard. As long as you can pick up the rocks. So I'm just gonna stay on this little middle platform. Dumb hits. Oh, there. Easy boss. Oh, 
Okay, so how much is left of the, this area? Oh, we gotta take on Ward again. It didn't go well last time. Because of like how this game is run. be very helpful. It's Oracle of Ages, Grotus? Huh, I thought it was Minish Cap for some reason. So I knew it was like one of those old Zelda games. I just didn't know what one. Okay, so it was Minish Cap. Good to know. I think that's the first time I ever heard it in, like, a Mario hack, just through this game. You know, they're always doing different things with it. second. I gotta take care of something real quick. Just give me one quick moment. Alright, we're good now. Just had to take care of something real quick. Oh, pfft, damn. Should have seen that coming. Can I go through here safely? I think I can. Actually, I think I might have to. Okay, I see what I need. I need a key switch to get through the door. Can I just go back down? Actually, I can do this. That's not hard to do. Hmm. Don't know why there's a nook there. Okay, here we go. Remember last time we fought Wart and it took almost 20 minutes? Probably gonna get more of the same BS again. I can hardly wait. Oh, I missed. So far, so good. It took only, only got two hits on him. But I think it was after the second hit that things started to fall apart. Because the timing of the vegetables and warts spitting has been off. <laughs> Might take another 20 minutes. If we are lucky, it might take 20 days. Oh. Well, 
could have gotten that one. Mess that one up. <laughs> Doing this to like speed up time because we fought this guy before. So, like, Want to be done with this guy for good? I'm getting good with that shot for some reason. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, for God's sake. That was not the last hit, apparently. Is that it? No? Not only is this guy tedious, he takes too many hits. That's the problem. There, that's the end of it. Why do I need a star for this? I'm only just going down. <laughs> just to kill one Koopa. I didn't need a star for that. Hey, Joker. Uh, no, the hack is not done. I don't think, unless it is. Oh! It is done! That was literally the last level I needed to do! Huh. That was just rather a very annoying boss. Never mind! <laughs> we are done after all. So I guess I got a lot of time for the second game then, which is really good. Hold on, I'm gonna go get set up for that. Luckily, I mean, this one's not due to come out till later this year, but the demo is out for it. Ace Comics is now following me. Thank you so much. too loud or anything, is it? Because I can set it a little bit lower. Why is there no sound? Uh, do you hear it now? Okay, keep lowering it more. Okay, let me do that.
Yeah, because the thing is, when I go over there, it obviously just minimizes over it. Like, when it's out of focus, the music stops. Yeah, about a player or two being banned, this person in question used my personal picture as his profile name or as his profile picture, and I did not appreciate that. So that's why that person was banned. I'm just gonna throw that out there right now. I did not plan on doing that, but here we are. Like, it made me very uncomfortable, and obviously that was not respected. So we're just gonna leave it at that for now. Alright, I haven't played any of the demo yet, but let's give it a shot. It's by the same people that made the Chronicles of a Dark Lord games, but it's based in space. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Yeah, so this is one of those, like, RPG Maker games. Oh, I gotta follow. Let's do that. Who's a new follower? Ah, Bragg84 is now finally following me. Thank you so much! I really need to get, like, a second monitor or something. Because sometimes it's hard to see who's following and whatnot if I only have, like, the one monitor. So yeah, I'm also running on a laptop. And there you go, that's kind of a thing I gotta deal with. But that's okay. Oh, you see Necro VMX stream this? Well, I mean, I can't be surprised. He, he was probably involved with the game, was he? You knew it was RPG Maker game based on the menu. Yeah, that's a, that tends to be a giveaway, Joker. Why do all the characters have like long ears like elves? It's like they're space elves. <laughs> we gotta go to the planet Keebler. <laughs> Oh, you have a spare monitor for me? That's awesome. I might consider uh, taking you up on that offer. I'm not going to bother to read the dialogue here this time. I mean, I'd rather save that for like uh, when the full game comes out. Which, according to Steam, is like the fourth quarter of this year. Oh, there's chain commands? Okay, select the attack command for a character. Notice after the strike hits, so the gauge pops up with the words chain attack and the key button prompt. Hitting the correct button before the gauge disappears will result in another strike to your enemy without having to use up another turn. Okay, so there's a little bit of timing involved for this. Uh, I probably will, but I'll wait till tomorrow to get it from you. How does that sound? Rather than you having to take it with you, and then I have to pick it up after hanging out with Cole and them later. Oh, key button press are randomized. Oh, 
Oh, cancel button. Alright, let's try that again. Oh, can't use a chain attack if it's gone. What about orders? Oh, that's special ability. Oh, there's no damage control. That recovers a little bit of HP and SP automatically. Oh, it even... It even affects, like, say, movement pad. Okay. I'm, I'll get used to this. So I guess longer combos will do more damage, but they'll be faster. You're heading to engineering. Good for you. I'll just walk very slowly while I do that. Okay, so can I? Oh, I can just open doors by doing this. All right, so a lot like Chronicles of a Dark Lord games, you are able to like move around and stuff, and maybe find some hidden, hidden collectibles. Okay, for some reason, even though this is just a part of the floor, when I try going down on this spot, I can't. Which is pretty strange. Yeah, there are, there are like plenty of spots I just can't walk down. I can walk up, but I can't walk down. But I guess uh, that'll probably just like come up in like uh, beta testing. No, I was you your suggestion for shore leave was a good one. So I think I'll just leave this place. Because I don't know if I'll run into any strange walls. Right, is this where engineering is? Nope, that's just the crew quarters. Oh, that's the name of the ship. The Rogue. Or the Rogue. That's an interesting name for a ship. Suppose it as like that's a name that's been heard before in maybe some mythology. These are rather large rooms. No, Hans, that's okay. That's why I got my own team of mods to deal with. Whatever comes up, I mean, they're the ones responsible for that. We lost a third of our fleet. Wow, we're bad. <laughs> okay, so that's our opposition, the Zenethians. I suppose that's what we were fighting. Weapon status, yeah, fully operational. Okay, I need credits to buy upgrades. I can buy weapons for myself, or I can do this for the ship. That's pretty cool. And you can buy your own personal weapons, too. Okay, let's see. That's a sword. Alright, so I can choose between swords, or I can use energy weapons like guns. Or I can use a crossbow. Okay, like each character has their own specific weapon. I'll give my character a new sword. Hmm. Should I sell my old sword? I don't know. Probably wait a while till later. You had a relic over, and it was quite a meal. I wish I knew what it was. Like, what do they eat here? I suppose we'll have some more, uh, space battles and regular battles soon.
crew quarters again. <laughs> How many quarters do we need? Well, I guess I need one for each crew. It's so weird because the, each crew quarter is so big and everyone's like so small. Lunar games? I played some of the first one for Sega CD, but I didn't get very far into it. Oh, there's the engineering. It's all the way in the back. <laughs> oh my god, look at that uh, goatee you got on the go. It's like freaking handlebars. Oh, we had our port stabilizer damaged. At least it don't take long to fix things. I did see on Kassarit's Twitter, or I think it was Facebook, I'm not too sure, it might have been both, but they have an overworld set up for like certain planets. So I guess there will be some space travel and also some planetary travel. Alright, I guess I'm on my way. We got a big ship to fight. Uh, Joker? I'm pretty sure you're talking about Dark Cloud. Because there was a genie in that, and you do rebuild towns. And I think Catgirl was the, uh, other party member you get. If I'm not mistaken. I used to own that game, but I still have its sequel. Why does our ship look like a dagger? Oh! Oh god, look at that! <laughs> Looks like a bow. Dreadnought class, eh? I'm guessing I'll have to fight that. I kinda wish they gave me more credits to buy the best weapons. see what's going on here. Why they didn't want to shoot us right away. Huh. Sarkoth of the Animus. So, that little machine in Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Set phasers to fun. This guy looks like he's got some smoky eye. Look at that! It's about to be a raccoon. Okay, so Hector's race is called a Thrasic. Razel Particle. <laughs> oh god, I have five minutes to bring him the particle. I guess that's going to help if we don't even know what it is or where it is. Alright, so I 
guess we have to go now. <laughs> Reminds me of Star Wars that much yet. Once we get to like more, get to certain planets, it might. Is this, no, there's not a boss battle. This is something that happens. Oh, so I guess they're too small. We'll have to fight them on foot. Alright, let's do this. Can you guys move, please? We got this. Thank you! <laughs> Okay, the ATB meter up there does look pretty neat. Ah, regenerate is just to like buff yourself up. Any text? Okay, so human characters, or well, playable characters have their own abilities to use chain attacks too. So as long as you see what the button is, you definitely have an easy chance of doing a lot of damage. That's pretty neat, I like that. Did any of them go through the- oh, doors are sealed. I mean, I suppose I can just keep fighting for more credits. I would like to buy other weapons. Definitely getting a good feel with this game. Like, it runs really well. So how does this game look to you guys? Granted, this is only the demo. <laughs> oh, you don't want to sell weapons to me? Okay, fine. I can do it myself. Uh, that was supposed to be my experience. I gotta go into engineering to take care of everything. This is a memory node. Accessing these will heal your party's HP and SP. Okay, that's good enough for me. Even though it looks like you can save anywhere, just that these are allowed for healing. Oh, that drone's even bigger. Eliminator is the name. Spells and other abilities that have toggle and description are used on either single or all targets. Do this, select the spell, your action key button, then while highlighting the target, press shift, confusing keyboard, or the X button, which is an Xbox 360 gamepad on your controller. Ignis. Oh, this allows me to select them all. So, Ignis is like the exact same name as the fire spell in Chronicles of the Dark Lord. Laser suck, I must say. Okay, drones are down. Kiri is there if we need it, which I think we just might. 
You want any text? No. Yeah, Selena doesn't have a lot of uh, defense because I guess she's more of the magic character. button. Good thing I did not mess that up. <laughs> oh! That boss is not hard. I, I swear, these characters almost look chibi when they're cheering. Oh, I think I have Ice 1 now? It's probably just for Selena. There, we did it. Okay, we took some damage, unfortunately. I'll have to go back on the bridge. <laughs> victory theme sounds like the victory theme from Digimon World. Unfortunately, I wouldn't know that because I never played Digimon World. I would like to at some point. I've had a lot of people request that to me. But I guess it's not easy to get. Definitely lots of dialogue going on here. The guy's name is Zephry. <laughs> like, rather than Jeffrey, they just had to give him, like, a different name. Okay, so I guess we're just going to a bigger ship, or we gotta land on a planet. <laughs> Alright, so anyone, what else are your plans for today? Like anything at all for like the rest of the weekend? I don't even know how far this demo even goes. Like, maybe as far as, say, first dungeon, give or take? But there's a lot of dead air in, like, this part of the game. Okay, so we just gotta go in the Death Star. Good to know! thing or what? Because it's sliding in there real slow. Ah, there we go. Guess I have to go down those stairs. Oh, you gotta mow the grass today. I mean, I'm in a, lucky that I'm in an apartment complex that I don't have to worry about the grass. Because I got supers to do that for me. Oh, I can't 
can go back that way. Two, it seems. Alright, let's go do that. Definitely digging the aesthetic here. As well as the music. I don't think I can read that. Let's go on the tram. We have to go to deck two. Residence should be at the end. I mean, I suppose I can go to the recreation room first. Maybe there are some games I like to play. Maybe some pool. Space pool. That would be pretty neat. Oh, the vending machine works! I got a capsule for that. Capsules recover 100 HP. I have 244 credits now. Okay. You can only get one capsule from that. A neurostimulant. Okay, I just noticed that these capsules do not take credits. And this revives an ally. Okay. So those are actually really good. Ah, rec room's right over here. Oh my god, is that the exact same music that played in the credits to Chronicles of a Dark Lord Episode 2? How they had to shoehorn that in at some point? Oh, even with lyrics and all. Yeah, this is like the scene from um, the Kassar Citadel. Like, right around this big screen. Huh, Muriel. This must be like some kind of Easter egg room. Looks like what's happening here. Oh man, I can play the slots! I'm only allowed to have a hundred at a time? I think so. Alright, time to gamble now. <laughs> this is the real crux of this game. Not bad. Ooh, I think I got another follow there. Like, I can tell because that's the only one that has the Mega Man sound effect. And all the other ones don't. I suppose I can see that on my emails, too. Because the game is actually covering it. Galaxy Lynx 95! Thank you so much! That's my credits there. Come on, stars, stars. Aww. Ooh, that's a hundred! Oh man, I'm, I'm gonna pay for all your colleges now! Why is it the crowns only give you like two? That's kind of lame. They only give you like three lines. At least they give you cool music to play as you're gambling all your life savings. Uh, I only get one line for this. Better be a good one. Well, game over. I guess we don't need to play anymore. <laughs> oh, I didn't even check the other vending machines. 
Well, that's not a vending machine. Never mind. Rock, paper, scissors? Each round you win, you get a reward. Eh, I'll take you on. Oh my god, this... This looks so jank! I lost. I drew. I win! I lost. Okay, don't pick scissors anymore. Don't pick paper anymore. Obviously, I'm not good at rock, paper, scissors. I mean, it's still better than the first Alex kid game. Where if you lose that rock, paper, scissors, you could die. That was funny when he kept choosing rock. You know what? I wasn't even paying attention to that. Alright, what are we gonna dine on? Lobster stuffed with tacos? I hope so. Looks like what we're just having for dinner is like a cup of tea. How about you put me up on a higher pay scale, and then I can d divulge the details. And yeah, they don't even tell you, like, what the Raziel particle is. Like, maybe it's a person. Maybe the Raziel particle is actually love. <laughs> that this is gonna be almost like an anime. Oh, we're under attack already. I didn't even get to finish my tea. What the hell? Hold on, can I, can I get to the uh, vending machine first before we go for the fight of our lives? The fourth shard. Why do you even have a vending machine in your personal residence? Look at this bathroom! It's so nice! I, I am very uncomfortable with all three of us stacked together as we use the toilet. I think we're just gonna go now. <laughs> okay, let's see what's on the go here. I think we just have to go to the main area. I should not have had that breakfast burrito. Can I go to deck three? <coughs> I don't know if there's anything happening here, but I'll take a look. And that is the bridge. Oh, this was where I was supposed to go. Never mind. Three Calvina class Jurassic ships. Oh, that's actually our race. That's probably the problem. Oh, transmission's being blocked. Just laser cannons. I mean, laser cannons work. Do I have to go to deck two now? Uh, 
Oh no, I have to go to deck one to get to the ship. What was over here anyway? Just engineering? Well, I'll go in. And just do nothing. Okay. I see how it is. Okay, going to back to deck one. At least this monorail is actually working. You know, we don't have a shyster just taking our money to build it. It's like, we know what happened on a planet, uh, Brockville. Brockway, I mean. ships over there. So I guess we got to fight on our ship again. I do like the ship battles. It does add an interesting touch. And then again, like... In Chronicles of the Dark Lord Episode 2, we got to fight on boats. So it's kind of like that. <laughs> Court Marshals for all of us. It's either that or die. It's like, how dare you defend yourself? You should be arrested for that. hit you with a torpedo. The damage control will be helpful if we need it. I just fire a whole bunch of torpedoes. I got a lot of them. So there's no attack chains when you're using special abilities. Should go into damage control mode. There, that's much better. Music seems pretty catchy too for battle. You get a lot of HP back just by using damage control, and it's also free. So you can pretty much just spam this in the hopes that you won't die. Oh, that's a lot of credits, 3,000. There, we did it. Oh, we have to go to the Eris region, which is on a trade route. Or, or they're going there. Best case scenario, court martial with imprisonment. I like, hey, you guys uh, want to keep fighting, like, even against our own uh, homeland and possibly get killed? Or you want us to turn ourselves in and then possibly die anyway? Jeez, that's a tough decision. Uh, we gotta let the crew know. Gotta go to the weapons bay in 10 minutes. Uh, 
Let us do that. So, I guess this is where things in the game, like, really start to build up. Look how long my ponytail is! It touches the ground! That's nuts! Oh, I didn't think my crew was that big. So three of our own ships, you know, just three of our own ships. I mean, we had no choice. I'm gonna see if a powerful secret our government wants no one to know. Oh, hello, thank you, Andrew14 for the follow, much appreciated. I really like how this system is set up on Streamlabs and now I can actually see it. Hello, Magus Lee, welcome to the show. Just got to the, like this point of the demo right now. Run. Yeah, we're not going there. <laughs> Expose the corruption and betrayal. Oh, we're gonna be rebels now. You will be branded renegades and may not ever see your families again. Worst case scenario, the rest of the entire crew just turns on us and we have to fight them all. Hey, the Moogle Master is now following. Thank you so much. Greatly appreciated. You have going against the government now, apparently. <laughs> I mean, all we have to do is just, like, uh, find our, uh, government leader and just make a big blimp of him like a baby. Just sail him across the galaxy. Alright, this is where things start to pick up, and I'm excited about this. Come up with a different name other than Renegade Ship. <laughs> I'm just saying. Don't want to keep completely mark ourselves. Let me go back to the weapon store. Nope, can't get any free upgrades. That would have been too easy. Can upgrade the pulse cannon. Uh, let's just fo focus on our personal weapons first. There, we did it. And what we'll buy left? I think we'll go with the hull plate. It's the most expensive, and we can at least afford it now. You can take that. Oh, four scions. You can only equip, like, one of these at a time. Hmm. That's an interesting approach, rather than have them all available at once. Maybe there are upgrades that allow you to equip more than one. But, either way, we'll just, we'll give Ice a try. Seems how we just got it.
But yeah, our, our personal weapons are more updated. I didn't know Misty from Cerulean City was on our crew. Good to know. I have to ask her to dinner. <laughs> Go for it. Alright, I guess I'm going back to the bridge now. Intercept the low frequency communications burst from Thrasic Prime. Oh my god, I hope to god they have like a park called Thrasic Park. <laughs> that would be so cool. Elohim. Called the Planet of the Trees. <laughs> so I think that's where I have to go first on a planet. Post on the bridge, navigation menu here, select a destination. Hmm. Alright, I'll give that a try. Oh, I could go back to Star Station 5 if I want to, but let's go to Elohim. It's too bad you can't just like steer your ship in free roam. Like, maybe just find secret planets, or almost? It's like you're on a fixed path. Oh my god, my characters look so small. Look how tiny I am in this view! Okay, now it's actually a little bit bigger. What the hell is that thing called? Sarakin. Not to be confused with Saracen, which is like a soldier back in the Crusades. At least the battle system's pretty easy to understand. Unless you have very terrible reaction times. Capsule, that'll be good for us. Okay, I like where you have to walk in enemies to fight them. Just like in episode 2. Malchorus. Okay, they don't have much HP either. Hello, Phantom Gamer. Better late than never. Okay, that's a giant mantis. I want to fight that. Mantodius. <laughs> that's an interesting name. I leveled up? Nice. Uh, I'm just gonna go straight through. Hmm, there's a bridge over there, but I'd like to get this first. That's an alpha root. Whole play is only 5 of 20. Wait, you can actually use the hull plate? I feel like you shouldn't be able to do that. Fourth root, or oh, alpha root, just for status elements. Okay, so basically a remedy. Hmm. I don't know why there's just a path over here that stops. Oh, 
Oh, they're gonna give me a mixed bag, eh? I just know Selena is very close to death. I should fix that. Just HP or SP. Okay, it looks like it's just SP that does that. So HP would have to be restored with spells. I think that would be a good idea, actually. on this guy that looks like Carnivine with no teeth. Wait, I never caught the name of this thing. Dio Scipula. You thought it was Carnivine, but it was me, Dio Scipula. <laughs> yeah, I also notice it doesn't even have a torso either. So, like, Headless Carnivine with no teeth. Got it. Alright, take it easy, James. Suki Kageno Knight, welcome to the stream. Uh, I guess I'll just call you Kage for sure. That's alright. The L Lana Research Center. Why does it look like there are zombies? Oh, I walked past that dude. Oh, because they are! Rigmort! <laughs> look at this guy's sock! He's still got his sock on! How is it so white? Zombies wearing socks. What even is this? Okay, it looks like there have been some explosions. Alright, I'm gonna take a look at the screen. Owalonia core disrupted a base configuration. Contamination level is only at a third. That's fine. It's just a third. I like how they explode into squares. It's like something from Tron. Oh! I was right next to another zombie. So I got the two battles going on at once. God, this floor is so clean. You know, granted there's craters and stuff, but still. Mutant. Some of these actually look like monsters from Dragon Ball. Obviously, this is a female mutant. As evidenced by that frame. I like how they splat when they fall. Another Corinth shard. Don't feel like it should be healthy to eat anything that comes from these machines over here. Over with all the explosions and whatnot. Empress Maya Evanier. Okay, whatever. Is there anything in this room? A value? Well, let me check over in this case. 
Ah, he, she just walked over to me. Uh, Phantom Gamer, I'm pretty sure she's not naked. You can see there's a little bit of covering over there. You know, just enough. So that you don't get banned from Twitch. That's why they have one of those zombies there wearing, like, a uh, one sock. His feet is a no-no, too. Oh, that those are chests. They didn't look like chests to me. They just blend in like a dresser. Uh, let's go to the supply shelter. Grab another shard. Grab whatever that is. Do they only have, like, one thing in these capsules? Like, clearly, I would just choose the best item. Especially if I don't have to pay for it. Alright, Phantom Gamer, take it easy. We'll wait for ya. Unless you take too long. <laughs> I totally agree, Cole, that this is a nice design. Energy vial. Oh, okay, that's that's for much later. How is this? Yeah, I just said that. A Raziel generator. Hmm. Tried to create one? <laughs> Researchers themselves, so that's what the mutants and zombies were. But they try an experiment, and it obviously didn't go well. Power up only the connectors. Eh, may not be a bad idea. Then we're mutated and we die. The end. <laughs> I think we should back away. Why is everything turned to crystallized Mountain Dew? Oh, those are ants! Hold on. Let me save. And then we go back in here, see what happens. Nope, you touch him and you die instantly. I did not know that. I thought you were just getting, like, a very difficult battle. Oh, they just spawned out of there. Leaving immediately. What did you miss? You missed me dying instantly to, like, a bunch of bugs. time? Looks like it. What's it called? Diaspid. Let's try ice damage. Okay, ice damage doesn't seem to be that good against it. So I'm guessing Selena is not going to be good for offense. Noted. Yeah. 
Wallop! Oh, it causes poison. I think that's poison. Is Chrome of a Dark Lord in terms of story done? Because you only saw two parts. Well, I mean, episode two was the um, second part. The third one is coming out, I don't know when. Siphon. Oh, it drains health. Let's see if ice works now. Oh, ice works really well. So I'm guessing physical attacks are going to be awful? Not necessarily. About the same. So, yeah. Nice! That was the finishing blow! That's a common boss trope. Like, usually if magic is not that good and it changes color, all of a sudden it is. An Omega Solution? I think we should get away from those ants. Oh, so she's probably the leader of the government, the uh, Empress. They're like colorful ants. Of course, spreading like that hashtag fake news to get them all against us. and people will get killed. Ramses and Grand Admiral Bulk. <laughs> You're named after a baseball play that nobody likes. So these look like the main antagonists of the game. Or at least the ones that are just a cover for like the main one later. How is she just tolerating this? All they did was just bicker. <laughs> Please place your eye next to the scanner. <laughs> Good thing she doesn't wear contacts. Oh, he's, he's got some pearly whites there. Look at him. Just got that grin and everything. Oh, they have that same machine over in the other planet.
least they got their machine not full of ants. like some internal conflict going on here. Maybe some jealousy on the go. So Ramses has some relation to Xanth in some way. I mean, they do look alike. Ever heard of this old DOS game called Albion? I've heard of the name, but I've never really seen it. So maybe those ships we saw earlier were trying to warn us of what's happening. Huh. It had alien boobs and yet was rated K to A back in the day. I mean, Golden Sun Dark Dawn is rated E for everyone 10 and up, and it had like the uh, demonstration of grip synergy of some dude like grasping the shaft of a giant rock, but it looked like something completely inappropriate. Nebula. Oh, Reka or Racha? It's like they're trying like the alien version of Rachel. <laughs> That's okay, we're breaking rules too. government just didn't want to acknowledge them. So that's why they chose us. Oh yeah, Central Command is dodgy to say the very least. Like, you know, trying to kill us. Do I get new weapons? I certainly hope so. I will head there right now. So yeah, I'm definitely enjoying this game so far. Like when the full game comes out, probably in the fall or the early winter. That would actually be a must play. Mark II plasma torpedoes are now available. Nice. I definitely like that. Oh, we got new armor. 
Yeah, I, I think we definitely need the armor. Oh, I should definitely buy another set. Do I have enough for ship upgrades? I mean, I still need to get the, uh, pulse cannon, too. Oh, I, ha I need to put them on! That's what I was doing wrong. So I, I bought the upgrade before and never even equipped it. Oh, I can apply four scions to, like, Hector as well. I didn't know that. Yeah, you can have lightning. You can have that. Okay. Oh, yeah, so each character can have a four scion. I thought it was only Selena that could. So I guess I have to go back to the, uh, to the bay. And she'll do that. Sound effect when buying items sound like the chicken from Earthbound. Oh man, that's been a while since I played. I didn't want to go back to the door. <laughs> Let's just go back to Elohim and see what happens. Oh, we can't even choose it. I mean, that's smart. You know, we just die, like, as soon as you land. That would not have been pleasant. looks pretty. What if you get to move the ship at some point? Like, just steer it on your own? Dodge meteors? Oh, you can! So the shore will never let us the first ship exclusive area. You navigate your ship freely beyond the zones of the guiding devices. Use these devices to navigate your way through these areas. You also find enemy vessels that will engage you when you get close enough. Look for stations that can completely refill your HP and SP as you travel through these areas. What happens if I hit this? Oh, nothing. Clearly I did not touch that, but apparently the game is saying I did. I mean, the battles are easy enough that it doesn't matter. At least the credits are pretty decent. Oh! I, there was like two of them stacked together. I didn't know that. Can't move the ship diagonally, it seems. Huh? Oh, I had to press a button to fight them. Because I actually steered right through it and nothing happened. I thought you get in a fight on contact. Final goddess from Mars. Oh, okay. I, I've never played it. Like, I'm sure some of the DOS games, like, they get buggy when you try to play them on a newer model. What the hell is this? Oh, I can't touch it. Good to, good to know. I 
right, the fights here are definitely easy. Can I at some point get off the ship? And then just like maybe buy new weapons and armor? Clearly I don't think I can touch these. But look like Eyes of Sauron. These backgrounds are trippy. Yeah, I know, right? Especially these pulsing balls over here. Don't think I'm supposed to go that way. And if I go right, can I do that? It looks like these barricades are set up to decide your path. Hey, not screw it. Let's dance. Okay, there's one of each ship here. Okay, that's actually pretty neat. I'll start recovering automatically. This. Uh, I think a regular attack would do. <laughs> oh yeah, I like how I get like all sevens for HP, but I couldn't get all sevens in the slots. What a world. Uh, I think I'm supposed to go up. Gotcha. It does get a little confusing to navigate sometimes. But it looks like I can go over here. What's above? Nothing. Alright. So there is supposed to be like a ship station around that I have to keep an eye on. I suppose it's like halfway through. Ugh, what happened here? Looks like some ships didn't make it. Scrap metal. Jeez, these guys didn't stand a chance at all. They're basically the same ships that I've been fighting. Some of them are a little different. It seems very straightforward, this place is. Like, not too many branching paths you have to go. Or any treasures you have to find. Oh, this must be a ship station right here. I mean, I suppose I might as well just fight whoever's here. Definitely hits pretty hard. Take a beating. Gives me a lot of money. That's the main thing. Alright, how do you use the, um, the thing? get out. How do I just get in to use it? Or maybe that's not something I can really use. Because when I 
got in there, it didn't heal me. Trying in strength from the nebula. Oh, it's this guy again. Oh no, that's a different guy. They look the same. This guy looks so smug. Guess I'll have to fight this guy in the ship, too. Malice Cannon? They really had to call it the freaking Malice Cannon? The cannon discharges in 10 rounds. I think if I take out the generator, I don't have to worry about the cannon. Oh, it's a bug. That, that makes sense. Right, let me fire one more round of torpedoes, then I gotta heal. about to get destroyed otherwise. Oh, it's going to discharge in five rounds now? I can take out that generator fast. Oh, it used damage control too. All right, recovering my HP. kills uh, I think the last time I saved was before the bug wasn't it oh oh boy oh that's a lot of progress lost <laughs> oh oh god I should have like tried to save right there like in space I didn't think I would just get to a boss that easily that would insta-kill me if I took too long. It was going so well at the time, and then it just didn't. Alright, so, you know what? It's almost like 4.30 my time. I don't have much time to get, like, another game going. So, I think I'm just going to end the stream a little early. And I'll probably do this again tomorrow. Like, probably tomorrow afternoon. So, thanks everybody for coming to our first, well, my first affiliated stream. And hopefully I'll get some more things done to make it look a little bit nicer. Thank you all for coming, and I'll see you then.